Alison Baden-Clay, Hannah Clark and her children. Lives taken by horrific acts of domestic violence. Now their legacies have been enshrined in Queensland law. On behalf of Hannah, Aaliyah, Liana and Trey, we welcome Queensland making the pursuit of justice against coercive control possible. Back in 2012, there was no conversation around domestic and family violence and my family have been on a journey to ensure that the conversation is highlighted. Coercive control will become a criminal offence from next year. It aims to capture a pattern of controlling and isolating behaviour within a relationship. Violence is not always visible. You don't have to hit to hurt people. Sophia survived 17 years of coercive control by her ex-husband. He isolated her from friends and family and controlled her job, money and clothes. Who I saw, who I called, where I went, what I ate and like even if I did shopping, how long I went to the shop for. Sophia has welcomed the new laws but she's concerned coercive control will be hard to prove. I look back at it and I thought even if it was law then, could we prove it? You will need to make sure that our prosecutors and our police are well set up to gather that evidence. Awareness and education programs will be rolled out before the offence takes effect. To know that the loss of our family will save other lives, you know, it doesn't make it better, but it helps. The Queensland Parliament also passed other significant law changes, including introducing an affirmative consent model, which will require that a person says or does something to ascertain consent. The exceptions to Queensland's double jeopardy laws will also be expanded. It means people could be retried for offences such as manslaughter and rape if fresh and compelling evidence comes to light and it's in the interest of justice. Rachel Rieger, ABC News, Brisbane. There's national agreement by governments across the country that coercive control is abusive behaviour that creates fear and takes away a person's freedom. But the approach by law varies from state to state. In Queensland, it will soon be a standalone criminal offence with a maximum 14-year prison term. The penalty in New South Wales is up to seven years jail. Tasmanian legislation singles out some coercive behaviours, while Western Australia is in the early stages of consultation. To be convicted of coercive control in Queensland, you must be an adult and in a domestic relationship with another person. It's conduct that consists of domestic violence and occurs more than once. It would likely cause the other person harm. And it's not only physical, it could be emotional, financial or psychological. The harm could be temporary or permanent. Some examples may be preventing someone from getting a job, isolating them from their family or friends, following someone or repeatedly phoning, texting or emailing them. Coercive control is considered the biggest predicting factor in intimate partner homicide. It will become an offence in Queensland in 2025. And if you or someone you know needs help, please phone 1800 RESPECT.